this is gold road mine. That's pretty cool looking. Right over there. Take a picture too. But, you know, some people always say, see, filming and picturing at the same time as going down a road like this, you're being stupid. And I would say, I don't even know what that word means. So, and, and they would say, you know, and you look in the dictionary, stupid would be a picture of you next to the word stupid. And, and, and so for the longest time when people told me that, I just thought it was debonair and dashing. And so I go, oh, sir, you are so stupid. And they're going, what did you call me? And I went, stupid. And I thought it was a compliment for the longest, longest time. Ooh, look at old mine building, old mine building. Super cool. So, just, you know, for the, for the longest time, that's, that's kind of how it was. So, yeah, the gold road mine. There, there used to actually be a town site here, um, but ha has long disappeared. Just little intermittent buildings here and there. So, when they, so look at the conveyor belt. Just taking it down to what is most likely a cyanide leaching pad. Yes, there it is. So, that makes environmentalists very happy. They say, please, more cyanide leaching. That is, that is the way to go. So, yeah, so this is like probably, you know, as far as I'm concerned, this right here is the most rugged part of Route 66. Now, I'm going to go down 66 going through Cajon Pass, and uh, that's not like this. It, it, it isn't this hairy. So, <clears throat> so I think a large part, you know, it's like that little itty bit of, of 66 that goes through Kansas up through Galena out of Joplin and then back down towards Tulsa. I mean, that was done because it was a tri-state mining district and there were people that needed to be served there. And um, so they, they put 66 into a bizarre place. Just, you know, kind of a, you know, not, not an entirely necessary jog to the west and then south again. So anyway, ah, darn it, the road's not so narrow anymore. Uh, so driving along and this is exceptionally entertaining to me. Now, it's gonna take a little bit longer for me to get to California. Uh, but I'm not very far from California. Uh, I guess say not far from California. I mean, you know, my home, my childhood home in Fountain Valley. <sighs> okay, look, more, more old mines. I, I've been all over the hills up here looking at old mines. It is a lot of fun. I had some really neat fluoride I got from up here one time. Just gorgeous, gorgeous specimens. And I uh, got them from a rock shop up here. and. They, they didn't cost much, so okay. So it's getting to be more traffic. I'm gonna go up around this corner, and then I'm just gonna go actually go ahead and kill the camera for a little bit. So you're gonna not have the joy of going all the way into Oatman, but I'll probably start it up again as I go through Oatman. So uh, Route 66, going from over by Kingman, this is the Oatman Highway, uh, through Gold Road, which we just passed through, over to Oatman, and then we're gonna drop down to the Colorado River. Um, we're going to stay on the Arizona side and then we're going to cross the Colorado River from Arizona over into California um, on Interstate 40, which bypassed all of this. It's actually on the other side of these mountain ranges going down a much smoother, much straighter area. All right, ciao for now. Well, supposedly, hold on. Come on, stop. <laughs>